Ambitious. Ruthless. She likes to work, 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 work. An icon to everyone. Work, 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 work. Well, she's nice, I guess. Dedicated. Hi, my name is Kelly Derry, and I work with Marissa Ann Mayer at Yahoo. The reason I got my job at Yahoo was because of her. I previously worked with her at Google, where she was employed for 18 years. The work that Marissa showed at Google was incredible. She has been a designer there, an engineer, a product manager, and even an executive. The work she did there was so creative that everyone was outstanding by her work. She was able to fix Google tools, Google images, new maps, iGoogle, Gmail, basically everything that Google did, she was able to do. So it's no wonder that Yahoo spotted her and wanted her immediately. As a newly pregnant woman and employee of Yahoo, I have very much respect for Marissa Mayer who changed the maternity policy at Yahoo. When she first came to work for Yahoo, she was pregnant and she faced extreme scrutiny at all of her decisions because of this. Not only did Marissa stay dedicated to her job during her pregnancy, she proved that you could be a working mom and make great decisions. She gained much respect from Yahoo and the entire company. The policy leave that she was able to extend is that you now get an additional eight weeks. This is for both new mothers and fathers. And you also receive $500 for items such as groceries and baby clothes. The whole point of this was to support the happiness and well-being of Yahoo and their families. She was able to work all throughout her career while she was pregnant, and she broke the glass ceiling for women in the technology world. Marissa May is a great example of a strong woman who can multitask being a mother as well as a working woman. At Google, Melissa Meyer used to work in a laboratory for most of her life, so she was a very big introvert. And now that she's pushed herself to be an extrovert, she has taken it to an entirely different scale. She's pushed that extroversion from her workplace and now taken it over. So now when she goes home and with her family, she's a complete introvert. She does not want to be by them. Her new baby, McAllister, has kind of really taken her back and pushed her more into work and less into her family life. Melissa Meyer is one of those people who you can tell she's kind of shy, but she forces herself to be, you know, an extrovert. You can tell that at parties she's not really comfortable, but she'll sit there and she'll stay there the entire time. And also her maternal leave, she cut that short. She stayed home for about two weeks. I mean, no woman would have done that. Not in my opinion. And, I mean, you can tell she didn't really latch on to her child the way a normal mother would. She kind of put work first and her family life second. And you can see that in her, her work is expanded and her family is, comes to work with her. So that's what I think of Melissa Meyer. Well, uh, Marissa is uh, one of the hardest workers I think I've ever met in my life. Uh, every time I go into the office, she's always working hard. Um, she kind of has that vibe to make you want to like do better and work harder, uh, work to her level. Even though she may be the CEO, she wants you to work to the same, the same level as that. Uh, every time I'm leaving, she's still staying in there, clocking in more hours than me. She's recently put in about 130 hours, and that's, that's crazy for any human being to be working in a week. Uh, she'll stay there, literally work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So I think she's a person who's dedicated and knows what she wants. You know, she's not just in it for the, for the money and whatnot. Um, like the board of directors of Yahoo has gone through a lot of CEOs, but I don't see her being one of those who are going to be like a, just a name. I can see her changing the company around. She's had achievements such as um, changing the design in uh, Yahoo from the sleek design, all those new things you see on the website is because of her implementing implementing those uh, changes and getting people to think harder. It's funny that you mentioned Marissa Mayer because actually yesterday I was at a business lunch with her and uh, actually 
Lunches in the Silicon location was the first thing that she implemented as CEO of Yahoo within the first week. She implemented free lunches as well as refurbishing all of the offices on that campus. Um, and by doing that, I think she really showed what kind of motivator she was and she knew how to use the 3Y approach to motivate her employees as well as her fellow colleagues. And another thing she said was she talked about an interview she had with the LA Times about her work ethic and how she decided to approach her career from the very beginning. And she said that she looked for two things. She decided that from the beginning she was going to surround herself with the smartest people she knew, whether that be the hardest job or the easiest job, as well as sometimes take the task that you're not ready to take because that'll exemplify you as you're working out of your comfort zone. Marissa Mayer is definitely one of the hardest workers here at the corporation. She's probably one of the few people who can actually make the hard decisions when they need to be made and not be afraid to tell anybody if they're messing up or if they need to step the game up in whatever regards. Um, her and her, She acts very like a Machiavellianism or a Machiavellianist, as in she will do whatever it takes to get the job done, no matter what. She just um, only is worried about the outcome, which is a good thing, I guess, and she's not going to let any outside factors, you know, come into play with that. Um, I know she understands that to turn around Yahoo is not an easy job, and it's probably not going to happen within the next year or even decade, but she has her eyes on the end goal to turn this uh, company around, and that's why I feel that we will succeed with her on our side. When someone asks me about the leadership of Marissa Mayer, it's difficult for me to say. I've been with her since she became the CEO of, of uh, Yahoo. Um, well, for starters, when she first came here, she wasn't doing such a hot job in terms of relating to the employees. A good example of which was uh, the process of which she went through to let go uh, our previous um, chief marketing executive, uh, Molly Spillman. Molly Spillman was on vacation and she received a call from Marissa Mayer indicating that she has been laid off. And conveniently, this was 10 minutes before the national announcement that uh, uh, Kathy Savitt was going to be the new chief uh, marketing officer. Um, Marissa Mayer, on a positive note, is a very task oriented leader. Uh, accomplishing tasks and getting work done gratifies her very much. So she's very goal-oriented, driven. Um, in general, she has a very autocratic style of leadership. Uh, she uses strong directive actions to control rules, regulations, activities, and basically the whole life of the organization. Um, when it comes down to it, she is, she is a good leader. But in terms of servant leadership, in terms of her mission, in terms of her purpose... She has some of the qualities. For instance, she listens. She does listen to her employees. Um, a good example of which is in terms of how she interacts with their tasks and how she trusts them. Initially, she believes very much so in her employees. She thinks they are capable of incredible things. She has very high expectations for them. The key factor of that is, is that if they do not deliver, she begins to believe that, that, that those employees are incapable and that they're there simply for the job very much resembling the theory X and theory Y theories. So in the beginning, she's very much theory Y, but if you don't deliver, you're gonna be, she's gonna very much treat you like a theory X manager. Um, so again, she does listen to her employees. She can be empathetic, but she is, again, very much an introvert naturally, but is a forced extrovert. Um, she is aware of what's going on. She's very, very aware of everything that's happening around her. Um, she is extremely persuasive in anything she does. She understands her knowledge. She understands what everyone's expecting. And she utilizes that and puts it forward. Very much so through all of her accomplishments to the company. Um, she is incredibly committed to the growth of the company and to the growth of the people. She's done numerous advancements for the employees and for the company. She is driven by the company itself. I fully believe that Marissa Mayer has found her career's calling as the CEO of Yahoo for many reasons, uh, one being her education 
at Stanford. She graduated with a bachelor's in, um, I think it was symbolic systems, and a master's in computer science. And from there, uh, she was offered 14 different jobs from different startup companies, one of them being Google, which then she went on as an engineer at the startup of Google. And from there, uh, in 2009, she became the CEO of Yahoo.